I worry about Harry Potter fans because they should be over that by now. Actress Miriam Margulies has had some choice words for adults this week on the socials in a couple of interviews throwing adults under the bus saying, you need to get over Harry Potter. It's for children. Well, as an adult man with a bunch of Harry Potter crap behind me, I take umbrage to this. I take all the umbrage. Let's talk about it. It's for children. I think it's for children. But they get stuck in it. Listen, I don't really care about Miriam Professor sprouting off at the mouth about this. That's fine. That's her prerogative. I do think this is a nice jumping off point for a longer discussion, and that's about fandoms and why it's okay for adults to partake and to enjoy things we did as a child, or even further, enjoy new things that are coming out aimed at a younger audience. Because believe it or not, as you get older, life gets a lot harder, and sometimes it's okay to delve into the fantasy, into the sci-fi, into the movies we grew up with or we love today. Let's talk about it. Very quickly, if you wouldn't mind casting a spell on the subscribe button, assuming you haven't already and you're new here, I would appreciate it as I post lots of movie-related content each and every week. It's nice to have more bodies in the room. As previously stated, like 20 seconds ago, I don't care about Miriam's comments. Actors say dumb crap all the time. I've said lots of stupid stuff in the past. I'm sure I still will in the future. But I want to take what she's saying and run with it because the, the, the gist of it was hey, adults need to move on from Harry Potter. And she even goes a little bit more crass and says, men, if your balls have dropped, it's time to move on. This thing's 25 years old. And you should really focus on reading things by Dickens and watching the stock market. That's what adults should do. I don't claim to have the answers to life and its meanings or purposes, but we live in a society. We live in a social construct and it's one of our own making. It's one of our own undoing at some point, I imagine. I'm just a guest here on Earth and from my limited time, from my limited experience, I have determined this. We don't know what the future holds, so we should try to enjoy ourselves to the best of our ability while maintaining some sort of semblance of responsibility. This Miriam individual has a very, I think, stark, bleak look at society and how it should operate. When I was a kid, I was taught the right ways to adult are to get married, have kids, get a job, get a house. These are things that make you successful. Now that I'm here, I don't think that's necessarily true. Having a family, if you want, go ahead. Getting married, sure, if you want to. If you want to shackle yourself to someone for the rest of your life. I'm joking, Lindsay. I'm joking, honey. I love you. I've been married to the same person since high school. We're high school sweethearts, so it's, it's okay. I'm just joking. And we should be able to joke while still being respectful to each other. But that's maybe for a separate rant altogether. Comedy and how it's kind of dead in some ways and not in others. And it's just messy. Everything's messy now. My point being, I have taken stock of where I'm at and I understand that's not where other people are. I understand that there are huge swaths of individuals that are lost in the world, still trying to find their way, or maybe they just grew up kind of lonely and they're looking for an outlet to share, to express themselves. And so when something like Harry Potter comes along decades back, opens up this wizarding world, this magical place where you can escape with friends and go attend this regal school known as Hogwarts. You take a train, a magical train, hidden away in a brick wall that you have to run through. It's just, everything was so fun. It was so whimsical. It was so... It was so light, but there was also that dark side with, with Voldemort, with the evil Death Eaters, and it was, it was very intense. And as the books grew, the audience grew, or vice versa. I, I don't know. The books maintained a pace with the kids reading them. So by the time Deathly Hollows comes along, we're, we're adults. I myself didn't read Harry Potter until I was already an adult. I was completely captivated. I already liked the movies. The books made me appreciate them even more so. And then seeing Universal Studios open up the wizarding world, going around, drinking butterbeer, taking these rides, going through the castle. Freaking amazing. It was amazing. And this is me being an adult, being honest with you. Wow, you can have both, Miriam. You can do both things. Isn't that crazy? You can pay your taxes and also cast a spell. A pretend spell. We like watching actors perform. I don't think we look down on them, at least not for their craft. Oftentimes envy them. Maybe it's secretively so, but it's there. 
Wow, that person's getting paid millions of dollars to act like an idiot. I don't get paid anything for what I do, which is far stupider often. But again, to the point of the lonely folks out there, this is an outlet for them. This is a way for them to reach a community of like-minded individuals that just really like celebrating this kind of stuff. You look at Taylor Swift's fans going to her concerts, celebrating the music, just being happy and excited. It's, and it's electrifying. Now, of course, there's the ugly side to all of this. And this goes for Taylor Swift fans as well. You can quickly fall into a dangerous place, a cult-like behavior, a mentality where if you don't like what I like, you're suddenly the enemy. You're suddenly the problem. If you criticize even a little bit some of the songs or some of the movies or some of the books, you're in trouble, fam. Because I'm not just going to yell at you. I'm going to target you. I'm going to send my waves of people in my friend group, in my social media outlet, at your ass. We're going to try to cancel you or dig up dirt on you. And it becomes this awful, toxic place to be. But I'm not here to talk about that. I've talked about fandoms in the past. I believe that's a completely different situation from what I'm referring to. What we have here are just adults trying to not only relive their childhood, I don't think that's fair. I'm not trying to relive my childhood. I didn't have a childhood with Harry Potter. I had a childhood with Ghostbusters and Gremlins and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Transformers and He-Man. Some of that stuff I don't give a shit about anymore. Others, I'm excited to see more, but I'm also very jaded and kind of a cynic prick. When it comes to movies now, I don't believe they have my best intentions in mind or they're trying to put the best piece of product out there. They're just putting product out there. And that's really what it is. It's, the art is long gone. The, the magic is as far removed. But when you're working a nine to five, oftentimes longer for many individuals, the last thing I personally want to do is more work or think about the bills that I have to pay. They're getting paid automatically so usually, or looking at a portfolio for my future earnings and all that boring shit. I want to actually engage with something more fun, something that relaxes me, something that makes me escape my humdrum, boring-ass existence and go somewhere fun and exciting. I also find it funny when some people scoff at that stuff, even a, even like the brony community. You remember that? I don't know if it's still a thing, but My Little Pony used to be a, a pretty popular show for a few years. And there was brony conventions and, and kids dressed up and adults dressed up as different characters from that. And, you know, you laugh and point and shake your head often. But Or how about people that are sycophantic with sports? That's different than being a sports fan, but even a sports fan, how are you really that different? You're painting up your face, you put on a jersey of your favorite player, you go to a game, you spend a bunch of money for season tickets, you have a draft where you go to your friend's garage, you watch the TV for hours, you yell at each other, you get riled up. This is what people do. We try to find things that excite us. And at the end of the day, that's all it is. Of course, and I just said this a while back, you can get stuck in this, you can make this your identity, and I don't think that's a healthy place to be when you are just 24 seven hooked on this one specific thing. But what a sad existence it would be if we didn't find joy in some of this stuff, some of these pointless things. I get pumped up when Back to the Future comes on TV or goes back to the theaters. I get super excited when I get to show one of my kids a movie for the first time. In fact, we just watched 300 a day ago. My whole family watched it. I was really excited to see my kids' reaction. It's my favorite Zack Snyder movie. I think he peaked there personally. And this movie is still holds up fantastic. I actually, if you're interested, have a vlog coming out on it where I talk about this movie. My kids review it. It's at the Mithril membership level at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies where there's multiple vlogs every month for you. Uh, anyway, just a little side advertisement for myself. The point is this. Be excited for things. Otherwise, you wake up and you are a zombie working the gears to the bone. You are just a cog in the machine. Have an identity for Christ's sakes. Don't just check stocks out and be that boring ass neighbor who suits up every day, goes to work and judges everyone else. It's really fun being on the other side of it. Going to a con, try it out. See how excited people get. See how energizing it can be. 
put out of your comfort zone. And next thing you know, it's very comfortable because it turns out a lot of these weirdos, a lot of these people that are quote unquote not adults and their children still, they're actually more mature and capable of handling different situations than most so-called adults can. Because they put themselves out there, they're free to be themselves and have a good time. All right, that's my rant for you. I, safe to say, completely disagree with Miriam. I think it's absolutely imperative that adults don't get too stuck up their own ass and they still find joy in the little things. And you know what? Someone's got to bring the kids to these events, these movies, these locations. What are you going to do? You're just going to keep your head down on your phone, looking at your boring bank reports or whatever adults are supposed to do? Or do you enjoy this with the kids? and have fun on these rides, and go get these experiences that you will only have with them for a limited amount of time. Art's gonna be there. You can go to a museum when you're older and appreciate all that shit. And you can appreciate that now too. You can, you can do two things at once. It's wild. You can do multiple things at once. All right, rant over. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please, again, think about subscribing to the channel. Adam does movies. I don't just cover movies. I also rant about things in the industry. I do roasts, live streams, and I just like to talk to you like we're buddies. Hopefully, I did the job. And again, one more time, patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. 300 exclusive videos at any membership tier level. And once you get into higher ones, you get vlogs every single month. All right, hopefully I see you soon. Take care.